In this video, you will see how to turn a workflow design into an animation. In the first part of the video, we'll show you the basic steps required to play an animation. After that, we'll talk about how to resolve gateways in an animation. Finally, you'll see how to play the animation in a web browser. Let's start. Here we have a business process diagram for the program admission workflow. The flow involves tasks like download form, print form, complete and submit form. We're going to show the activity flow using animation. At the bottom of the diagram you can see the animation panel. The panel provides you with controls to play, pause and stop an animation. Let's add an animation path by clicking the add button here. You need to give a meaningful name to the path. In this case, we name the path, form, submission. And then, press enter to confirm editing. Here is a path identified. It begins from a start event, and end with an end event, following the flow modeled in the diagram. Now, let's play the path and see what will happen in the diagram. As you can see, there is a tiny dark token traveling along the flow, with every shape past highlighted. The animation ends when the dark token reached the final flow element in the path. This is how animation works. You may ask, what about workflows that involve the use of gateway, which result in multiple possible paths? We'll give you the answer in the next section. This is another business process diagram, which represents the ordering process, from receiving an order, to reviewing the order, followed by a gateway, which determines the outgoing flow, depending on whether the order is accepted, or not. If not accept, this flow is taken. Otherwise, this flow is taken. So you can see, here we have multiple possible flows available for animation. In order to animate the workflow, you need to choose the outgoing flow of the gateway. Let's try. Again, add an animation. Let's say we want to animate the negative result. So name the path order rejected. This time, instead of having a complete path, the path stops at the gateway where decision has to be made. You need to complete the path by choosing either yes, or no. For this case, choose no. The path is complete and you can now animate it. As you can see the no path is animated. Let's add another path for the alternate case. By the way, do give a meaningful name here, which is very important in help identifying a workflow. This time we want to show the flow with positive result, so we name the flow order accepted, and play the path. The lower flow is animated. Pretty easy right? In the next section, we'll show you something more interesting. Besides playing an animation in Logician, you can play it externally with a web browser. In order to play an animation with a web browser, you need to export the animation to a HTML file. Let me show you. Right-click on the animation panel and select Export in the pop-up menu. In the Export Animation window, you need to specify the path of the HTML file. When everything is ready, click OK to start exporting. This is a web browser and it's now opening the exported animation. Here you see the business process diagram, and here is the animation panel where you can, as always, control the animation flow with buttons like play, pause and stop. Let's play the animation. You can see the animation playing here, same as how it works in Logician. That's it. With this file, you can easily share and demonstrate your work with stakeholders and system analysts. 
they can view your work anytime and anywhere they want to, making it more effective and efficient.